بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم جابر بن عبد الله الأنصاري رضوان الله تعالى عليه is one of the most outstanding and brilliant companions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم a man who is praised by the Prophet of Islam and the Ahl al-Bayt and truly a unique individual who lived all the way until the time of the fifth holy Imam, Imam Muhammad al-Baqir salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi. Jabir ibn Abdullah was very knowledgeable. He was devout towards the holy prophet and the Ahl al-Bayt. He was a champion of the wilaya of Ali Muhammad. And of course, he was an individual who reminded people about the excellence of the Ahl al-Bayt, peace and blessings be upon them. He was a man who would continuously praise and speak about the merits of the family of the Holy Prophet. We have a beautiful narration from Shaykh Al-Tusi He talks about the narration from Imam Al-Sadiq from Imam Ali ibn Al-Husayn Zayn Al-Abideen who narrates and says that on one occasion I was walking behind my father Imam al Hussein and my uncle, Imam al-Hasan, peace and blessings be upon them. And this was in Medina. It was the year that Imam al-Hasan salam was martyred. He says, all of a sudden, we saw Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari and Anas ibn Malik approach. But Jabir did something that caught our attention. He went down on the ground and started to kiss the feet of Imam al Hussein and Imam al Hassan. Peace and blessings be upon them. Of course, Jabir was not a young man at that time. He was a man who had taken part in the battles with the Holy Prophet. He was a senior companion of Rasulullah. And Anas ibn Malik was surprised by this demonstration of love and loyalty that Jabir had towards the blessed grandsons of the Holy Prophet. And so when the Imams alayhim salam went away. Imam Zayn al-Abideen said, I remained to hear the conversation between Jabir and Anas. And Jabir would explain why he did what he did. He would say to Anas, one day I was with the Prophet of Islam. He asked me, O oh Jabir, bring me my sons Hassan and Hussein." And he was so close to them, so attached to them. So I went to bring them. And when I found them, I carried one and I held the other. And I swapped them round, Jabir says. And so when I reached the Holy Prophet, he saw me doing this. And then he was delighted. He was joyful. And so he asked me, oh Jabir, do you love them? Do you express your gentleness and kindness towards them? He says, why should I not? And I know how much they mean to you, Ya Rasulullah. So the Prophet of Islam responds to Jabir and says, let me tell you this, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created me, He placed my existence as a nutfa, as a small clot so to speak and he placed it which is pure in the loins of my father Adam and this kept going from one loin to other of the prophets until the time of Abdul Muttalib then it split to two one of it was in the loins of my father Abdullah and another was with Abu Talib he says and then I was born and I am the final of the messengers and the prophets. Ali ibn Abi Talib was born. And so he is the greatest of the Awsiya, the vicegerents. Then this particular nutfa combined from me and Ali. And indeed, these two, Hassan and Hussein, were born. They are my progeny. And indeed, he looked at then Imam al Hussein salam and would say that from him there would be a man who would be born, who would fill the earth with justice and equity as it has been 
filled with evil and vice. It says, وَهُمَا سَيِّدَا شَبَابِ أَحْلَ الْجَنَّةِ طُوبَا لِمَنْ أَحَبَّهُمَا وَأَبَاهُمَا وَأُمَّهُمَا That victory be for whoever loves them, loves their father, loves their mother. وَوَيْلٌ لِمَنْ حَارَبَهُمْ وَأَبْغَضَهُمْ Woe be to the one who stands against them and fights them. Of course, Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari, according to narrations, was the first of the righteous believers to perform the ziyara of the blessed grave of Sayyid al-Shuhada Aba Abdullah al-Husayn sallallahu wa sallam alayhi. And this was, of course, famously on the 40th after the martyrdom of Amr al-Husayn, the 20th of Safar, according to most narrations in the year 61 after Hijrah. This narration is told by his servant and his servant would come forward and say, Atiya, that I bought my master, Jabir ibn Abdullah, who by that time had become blind. And when I brought him to the land of Karbala, he performed the ghusl from the river of Furat. And thereafter, I saw that he was in the state of grief and mourning. And he asked me, take me to the grave of my beloved Hussein. I held his hands. And the moment we reached on the grave, he threw himself on the grave and began to kiss it and began to weep until he became unconscious. After he get, regained his consciousness, he began to recite the ziyara, the wonderful lines which expressed his deep connection, his wonderful loyalty with Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam, his desire to have been with the Imam, peace and blessings be upon him. That moment, Jabir recited, Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein, Ya Hussein. He called the beautiful name of Sayyid al-Shuhada three times. And then he famously said, Habibun la yujibu Habiba. That a beloved is not responding back to the one who loves him. Then he says, How can you answer back when your neck has been what severed and your head separated from your body and that your lips has been stabbed? But I bear witness, for Ashadu Anna Kabnu Nabiyin, Wabnu Sayyidil Mu'minin, Wabnu Halif, Taqwa, Wasalilul Huda, Wahamisu Ashabul Kisa. You are, I bear witness, the son of the prophets. You are the son of the master of the believers. You are the one who is the son of the one who established piety and taqwa and the fifth from the people of the cloak. And then he wonderfully mentions wonderful lines that should be reflected upon. And then he famously says towards the companions, he says, Assalamu alaykum ayyuha al-arwah allati hallat bifina'i qabr al-Husayn wa anakhat birahlih ashadu annakum aqamtum as-salah wa ataytum az-zakah wa amartum bil-ma'roof wa nahaytum an al-munkar. He bears witness that these individuals were buried with Imam al-Husayn, all the shuhada of Karbala established the prayers. He gave, they gave the zakat, they enjoyed the good and forbid the evil. And then he says, وَالَّذِي بَعْثَ مُحَمَّدًا بِالْحَقِّ Part of what that wonderful lines by Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari next to the grave of Hussein ibn Ali was that I swear by the one who sent the message towards the Holy Prophet لَقَدْ شَارَكْنَاكُمْ فِي مَا دَخَلْتُمْ فِيهِ We gain the reward of what you did. But Atiyah said, I looked at Jabir and says, how is it that we gain some of the reward that they have attained where we have not come and fought with them. We have not struck anyone with the sword and we have not indeed given our lives. Jabir said, O oh, Atiyah, I heard my beloved Rasulullah says, Man ahabba qawman hushira ma'ahum wa man ahabba amal qawmin ushrika fi amalihim whomsoever loves the actions of a group of people they get the reward of those people. And whomsoever loves a group of people will be resurrected with them. 
peace and blessings be upon Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari, the righteous of the Sahaba of the Holy Prophet and the Ahlul Bayt and all of Shuhada'i Karbala.